Jill Evans, Plaid Cymru MEP. I understand that Merco is still hoping that some kind of deal could be done somehow, some company could come forward, but if that doesn't happen, the worst happens and this plant closes, what help could be on offer? Well, the best option is, of course, to keep the jobs and the impact of those job losses will be devastating and so all efforts must be made to ensure the jobs are kept. But if the worst does happen and the jobs are lost, I want the Welsh Government to be able to look at every option to provide help for those workers and their families who are facing such a difficult future. And one of those options is the fund that's available here in Europe, which is just for this kind of situation. It's a, a fund to help workers who've lost their jobs because of changes in the world economy, in the international situation and because of international trade. And that's what we have here. It's, it's uh, in a way out of our control. And so I want to see every option available to help those families and, and this money of course would help with, with retraining, with people setting up their own businesses, all kinds of help, not just for the workers who lose their jobs directly but also for other businesses that depend on those jo jobs in the local economy. How are you putting this case to uh, the government because it's down to the UK government uh, if this was to happen uh, for them to apply to this fund? Well I want to ensure that the UK government doesn't close the door to anything and so I've written to the Secretary of State for Wales asking him as someone who's spoken out very strongly on this as a, a local um, MP to make sure that all options for support are available. Now in the past since this fund was set up, the UK government has not applied once for help for workers in Wales or the rest of the UK. Every month in Parliament we vote on applications to this fund for workers. We've, we've got one coming up in Parliament next week for a, a situation in Ireland where there have been big job losses. Now we contribute to the European Union the same as, as the other countries do and I believe that our workers should get the, the same support and, and get their fair share back out of this fund and that shouldn't be blocked by the UK government. So I want an assurance that if the worst happens and if we need to that we can apply to this fund as well as of course looking at all the other options to support the families and the local economy. Now the reluctance of the UK government is often put down to the fact that it affects uh, the rebate the UK receives given that the UK has not applied to this fund at least not for a very long time what's your chance of, of success this time round? Well, I think that the priority here has to be the families and the well-being of those families and the local economy and all the other jobs that depend on the, the workers, the 400 or so workers that work directly in Merco. Now, that's the top priority for me and I believe that that should be the top priority for the UK government. And they should be looking to at all options available to provide support and to enable the Welsh Government to put forward a package that really will make a difference and so we shouldn't have anything ruled out and that's what I want some assurances on that if the time comes where we need to that we can apply to that fund as well. Let's be clear, what does this, this is called the European Global Adjustment Fund, what does it allow, uh, what could, what how, how can it be used? What can it be used for? Well, it can be used for uh, retraining, for helping people to look for other jobs. It can uh, help in, in certain circumstances for employees to take over running companies. And it can also help with entrepreneurship and helping people setting up their own businesses. So there's a, a whole range of um, support available there. And of course, different people need different kinds of support within the community, within the local economy. There's a a need for different kinds of support and what would have to be done of course is for the Welsh Government to prepare uh, a, a very um, detailed case for what was needed and what kind of funding was needed before the uh, application could be made. What I want to ensure is that, that that help is available and it's not ruled out at this stage.